This is an introduction to using the to browsing the property tables for the MATLAB code distributed with Introductory Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics by Elliot and Lyra. This video assumes that you have already viewed the video Introduction to MATLAB folders that discusses the organization and navigation of the folders. The contents of the folder are very brief. I will spend more time talking about loading the workspace um, data and also browsing them using a utility called Props Table Browse. Because the properties are shared among many different parts of the course, they're in a folder that's called Props. In this Props there, are, there is a mat file, which is a workspace file, that holds the data, and Props Table Browse, a utility that allows us to browse that file. We can double click to load this into the workspace. And then we can take a look at it. You can see that it's a series of tables, it's a table basically of critical properties, eccentric factors, acidity, acidity basicity, heats and gives energies of formation, and heat capacities. So this big table um, has a lot of stuff that's useful to us in various places that's nice to be able to look up. Um, you'll notice that I've got um, ID numbers that are stored here that are the same as the ID numbers in the text. However, it's a lot easier to access this in MATLAB using the row number. And so we will use the row number rather than the ID number to access the information. Um, the compound names are somewhat truncated when you look at them in the cell array. You can't read all of them completely. Um, the, and that's why I've created a utility called Props Table Browse. Also, reading the entire table is not necessary. And it's more tedious to do from within other subfolders at where we will use the routine anyway. So we can run uh, Props Table table browse from this or from any other uh, directory. We're going to turn more on and I can run props table browse. And you can see now I'm getting a listing that gives me the, the row number, the ID number, and the name of the compound. And for example, row 21 is methylcyclopentane. So that's an overview of how uh, props can be used. Um, I can use the load command, which will, I will typically use when I want to load the properties table. I can load props in order to get it into the workspace to use in any other subroutine in any other folder.